What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with another video. Logan Paul has done it, capturing his first WWE Championship since his debut at WrestleMania 38. However, why did WWE put the US Championship on a wrestler who has only worked 8 matches and has a very, very limited schedule? Join us now as WrestleMania looks at the real reasons why Logan Paul won the United States Championship. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new website, WrestleMania.com. Number 1. Crown Jewel needed a title change While the WWE has been more reluctant to do title changes, unless it's the Tag Team Championship which suddenly seems to change hands every other week, the WWE may have felt obligated to do a title change at Crown Jewel, which recently was described as Saudi Arabia's version of WrestleMania. Yeah, we're not quite sure about that. As we'll see, the WWE has many reasons for Logan winning the US Championship, but one was to give the fans in the Muhammad Abdu Arena the excitement of a title change. Crown Jewel had some exciting moments besides title changes, but there are a few things in wrestling as exciting as watching a title change. Number 2. The WWE Wants to Test Logan Paul Is Logan Paul ever going to become a full-time WWE superstar? Well, probably not due to his many business interests and his involvement in boxing matches. However, Paul has brought up how he wants to be more than a wrestler who shows up a few times a year to wrestle. That position is already filled by Roman Reigns. Now that Logan is US Champion, fans should expect to see him a bit more often on television. That's not the weekly commitment that some fans think however, as Triple H's style of booking means it's common for wrestlers to miss a week or more before he finds a role for them. Paul can still be considered a WWE regular without showing up every week on SmackDown. The WWE can also make his appearances seem more frequent by having him tape backstage segments to accompany ones in the ring with Paul hopefully defending the title on TV, especially since Survivor Series is the WWE's last PLE in 2023. Number 3. SmackDown Needs a Top Heel With Roman Reigns reportedly off WWE TV for the rest of 2023, they could use a top heel with Logan's star power. Although Paul isn't the biggest wrestling star, his popularity outside wrestling will likely bring in some additional viewers. Well, we'll discuss that more in a bit. Roman hasn't been a regular on SmackDown, but his appearances have been an attraction and WWE doesn't want to deal with sports competition without a star attraction. In a perfect world, WWE will build up new stars on SmackDown by giving Austin Theory and Grayson Waller a starring role, but the WWE doesn't appear to be there with them yet. And it already looks like WWE will either have Theory or Waller turn face at some point. Number 4. Logan Paul is a major influencer Do celebrities help bring in new viewers? A wrestling history suggests that it happens, but only if a wrestling promotion brings in a star who is likely to bring in fans who are either interested in wrestling or just curious about it. From there, it's a matter of presenting a product that draws in new viewers and keeping them, regardless of how long the celebrity sticks around. Such was the case with Cindy Lauper, who helped revive women's wrestling in the 80s and played a role in the storyline that saw Mr. T's subsequent involvement in the WWF. Lauper and T didn't stick around or appear often, but their appearances were enough to attract new viewers to wrestling and make it seem cool, helping WrestleMania a success in fueling the WWF's expansion. Of course, such was the case with Mike Tyson, whose few appearances helped but didn't create the attitude error. Fans have also seen many other cases where promotions bring in celebrities with little or no effect. Logan Paul has the potential to bring in a huge amount of fans, who may start off watching the WWE just to watch him interact with other wrestlers, but stick around if the WWE presents a compelling product. Number 5. The WWE Wanted Rey Out of the Title Picture Rey Mysterio's latest United States Championship reign was a pleasant surprise for Rey fans as it gave the dedicated WWE star another run with some gold. However, the WWE had no intention of keeping the belt on Mysterio for long. Other than elevating Rey with a championship run, it's created an opening for a feud with Santos Escobar. While the WWE hasn't dropped any hints that Rey's newfound friends in the Latino world order are stringing him along and waiting to pounce on him, the WWE has created a situation where Santos may feel, justified or not, that his hero Rey Mysterio has taken advantage of him in order to get his shot at the US Championship. After all, Escobar won the chance to challenge the then US Champion Austin Theory until A-Town knocked him out of action, leading to Rey stepping into the spot. Until Crown Jewel, there was no sign of Escobar resenting Rey. However, Crown Jewel created an ambivalent situation where Escobar snatched brass knuckles from Logan Paul's henchmen and seemingly set them inadvertently on the mat apron as he gave chase. However, what if it wasn't inadvertent? Also, was it a coincidence that Escobar was wearing the same colour shirt as Logan Paul? 
These tiny little details are the things WWE loves to introduce to fuel speculation. While this makes sense, you may be asking what it has to do with Logan Paul winning the title. Well, the reason is that number one, it creates suspense about Escobar's motivation, and number two, it gives Escobar a chance to challenge for the United States Championship. This scenario could lead to Rey requesting a rematch only for Santos to ask Rey why he won't give him a chance. After all, Rey never gave Santos a title shot when he held the belt. Number five, Logan Paul is a good fit for the championship. Logan Paul seems like a good fit for the championship, at least based on his past performances and willingness to constantly improve his in-ring work. Tonight's match against Rey Mysterio showed that Paul can work a variety of styles and rise to whatever challenges he faces in the ring, such as a spot where Rey Mysterio seemed to execute a springboard move and nearly hurt himself until Paul was able to react quickly and prevent disaster. Paul can work long matches or shorter matches, regardless of his opponents, and he's a terrific heat magnet. These are all qualities that a wrestling promotion needs in a champion, and Paul should be able to do this for as long as he can maintain a semi-regular schedule and as long as he stays over. Number 7. The WWE wanted to build things up for WrestleMania Is Logan Paul going to remain US Champion until Mania? Well, that's difficult to say, but considering Triple H's fondness for long-term booking, we wouldn't be surprised if the WWE is an endgame for Paul dropping the belt in a big match at Mania, including one with more than one opponent. There are five months until Mania, but as fans have seen with champions like Intercontinental Champion Gunther and even US Champion Austin Theory, the WWE seems to prefer long title reigns to not only build up titles, but the men and women holding them. A lengthy reign by Logan could transform him from a wrestler that fans might see as a part-timer or special attraction into someone who they may not like, but still like to watch wrestle. And LA Knight has a new goal. LA Knight came up short against Roman Reigns at Crown Jewel. <laughs> What a surprise, but that doesn't mean championship gold is out of his reach. Looking at Logan Paul's potential challenges, we think there's plenty of exciting prospects including Kevin Owens, Santos Escobar, AJ Styles and even heels such as Grayson Waller and Austin Theory. But one name that immediately comes to mind though is LA Knight, who may not need a championship belt but who could show the WWE just how much more room there is for him to get over with the WWE Universe with a title around his waist. A match between Paul and LA Knight is a guaranteed success, but the real magic is in the microphone as both men trade insults and fans sit back and enjoy every minute of it. The WWE does need to rush Knight into a program with Paul, but it's a must at some point. But there you have it folks, why Logan Paul won the US Championship. What are your thoughts on Logan Paul becoming US Champion? Let us know in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.